the when do the signs start of of just things kind of being questionable and going wrong in this marriage? It's a lot, man. It's mm. a lot. You know, when you sit with yourself and think back, mm. the one moment you think, oh, this was a red flag. And mm. the one moment you think, no, this was not the red flag. This, was, this should have been the red flag. Yes. Even this morning, I was thinking of some red flags. Mm. You know, actually, the more I'm open about this mm. is the more I realize that the red flags have always been there. Yeah. I was blinded by love. I did not want this marriage to end. I wanted Latoya to close my eyes. I became Uh. ignorant of every single thing. I was not seeing it. It happened with friends and family. Mm. It happened with our finances. It happened with the religious beliefs. Mm. Those grounding things that I'm talking about. What should have been a red flag to me is me abandoning how I was born and bred. Hello everyone, please welcome to my Shudu Entertainment and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So Lebo and Latoya's love affairs started making rounds on social media weeks ago where it started with Latoya being accused of cheating on her wife Lebo and both Lebo and Latoya have opened up about what led to their marriage ending. As you guys just heard, Lebo spoke to Chisa Life about what she claims she endured in her marriage, laced with abuse, drugs and infidelity. Before going public to tell her side of her story, she first said she had to undergo lots of therapy after her split from Latoya. Lebo acknowledged she turned a blind eye when things were questionable in her relationship because she was fixated um, on her future with Latoya, but she forgot her values and principles in the process. And that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more on entertainment and celebrity news. Bye guys.